So the next muscle we're going to look at in our pain-free living series is the levator scapulae. Now this muscle attaches from, this is the mo model of a shoulder, so we've got our arm on one side, so that's the arm, we've got the clavicle at the front, which is our collarbone, and then we've got the scapula at the back, which is, which is this bone here. So the levator scapulae, it levates, so it lifts the scapula, which is the bone at the back, um, and it supports that up, and it attaches from there to the top four joints in our neck. So it goes from this area all the way up our neck. Yeah. So this muscle also often gets problems. And uh, if you have trouble turning to one side, so let's say you're driving and, you're, and you have trouble looking to one side, then it's probably this muscle that's causing the problem. So if you test the area by looking to one side and looking to the other and one side is tighter, then most likely you've got problems in one of your trapezius muscles. So in order to find where the knots are in that, so where we get the trapezius knot, uh, levator scapulae knots are one just above the top of the, the shoulder blade and another point just above that. Now this point is often where it's painful, but that's not often the most important knot. The one above that is often the most important one. So it's very important to work into both of them. And how you can work into them is using a lacrosse ball or a cricket ball, putting the ball on that area, finding the point of tenderness, leaning against the wall. You want to use about 70% of the maximum pressure that you can tolerate, and you want to hold it there for 60 seconds. Now, you're not going to kill the knot in one go. You need to repeat this every two hours until your symptoms, which is neck pain, which is what levator scapulae causes. So if you're getting neck pain, um, then levator scapulae is probably one of the potential causes or if you're getting restriction in that motion. So until that, those symptoms resolve, then you need to look at what the causes are. So whether it's your posture, which is the most likely cause, um, or whether it's your repetitive strain that you're doing, or whether it's due to stress and you're hiking your shoulders up. So for example, in terms of posture, we have what's known as the plumb line. So we have our area from our ear lobe to our shoulder, to our hip, to our ankle, and that should all be in line. So here you can see my ear lobe, is in front of my shoulder, so that's going to put stress on my levator scapulae and my trapezius and my SCM muscles. So let's work on posture and let's work on releasing this muscle.